Number one. NUV stands for New Electric Urban Vehicle. The design overall, interior, exterior, and even the user experience is a concept we call subtractive simplicity. And what that really means is just this honesty in approach. The NUV lighting, we really wanted to make something that had this kind of floating glow to it so that when it's still and it's turned off, it kind of blends into the environment a little bit. It's like this polished stone. We have this upside down U shape for the tail lights that's very distinctive as well as the front fascia that has these very unique headlight forms. The doors, the way they open, the whole door is the actual entire body side. So it's very minimal parts to kind of add to this idea of simplicity. So Nuvi is designed for the urban environment and a lot of our designers ride skateboards. So we really wanted to incorporate some kind of last mile scenario vehicle in the Nuvi and we've done so with a, an electric longboard that's integrated in the rear shock towers that when in place is recharging and also acts as a high shelf that you can use with bungee cords to attach a laptop or a messenger bag. You know, in the future, things are changing in terms of how people own and use their individual products and a car is no different. Most of the day, your vehicle's just sitting there idle. And with the new V, the idea is that why not make a little bit of money on it? So we were seeing this opportunity where the customer in the future could take their vehicle to work, and then instead of just leaving it there parked, this autonomous vehicle could make itself available to people who may want to borrow it while the owner is busy doing something else. So there's a lot of options and a lot of ideas of being able to make some money with the vehicle, as well as have this more interactive experience with the vehicle. Hannah is the Honda Automated Network Assistant. That is our artificial intelligence. And the idea behind Hannah is it's an AI that learns from you or with you based on experiences, and basically tries to make the driving experience better in every way. Hannah can help you get from point A to point B in the most efficient and quick manner. But if you decide you don't feel like driving Hannah, she can drive you wherever you need to go. But at the same time, we're Honda and we still enjoy the fun experience of driving. So there's still a steering wheel in the vehicle. And when you look at the exterior, you see the wheels pushed out of the body. So it's still kind of a fun vehicle to drive if you want to take over and enjoy it in manual mode. I'm really excited to be a part of NUV as it really shows that Honda's at the forefront of design and exploring the idea of advanced concepts. You know, maybe this isn't a vehicle that we're gonna come out with tomorrow, but it's definitely something that we're taking seriously and wanna share with the public and get feedback into how we design cars in the future. Number two. We're using a format here at the CES, we call it Inspiration Talks. We have invited uh, interesting people from the industry, people that think ahead. We have several highlights at the CES this year. Start with this car, it's a concept car for fit and healthy, the car that takes care of you. It senses how you feel, it uh, uh, measures what your uh, body tells you about your health and can then interact with you through different systems. And Mercedes got it. They cared about the individual. And to me, that was very powerful. You know, there's very simple technology that we can measure the variability in your heart rate and know how stressed you are. We have our EQ concept car here as well, fully electric vehicles, but also connected autonomous. In order for autonomous driving to truly work, guess what? You need great mapping. The mapping material and the mapping information that we have today won't be enough. You need to know exactly what the world around you looks like. This is one of the reasons why we made the investment, because this is such a crucial part of that equation. For these cars, the same truths are true as for every Mercedes. Put the human at the center of the innovation. The ease, the trust that you're used to when you drive a Mercedes, with the boost, with the fun, will of course be the core values in the case of EQ as well. Number
Number 4. Number five. This is the Nissan V Motion 2.0. Inspiration came from beautiful modern architecture and the idea of futuristic private jets. The main body side creates a unique statement of form in the shape of a dynamic twisting surface. The V-Motion starts off as a bold signature in the front and grows and resonates throughout the volumes of the vehicle. In the front, we have these inlets that the air pierces right through very, very silently. It's aerodynamic and efficient. The liquid silver base is the first read. And as you look deeper, the car's beautiful shape supports bringing out the copper hue as a second read. This vehicle conveys confidence and a sense of commanding presence. Powerful, yet subtle. We designed the interior for the driver to be constantly connected. We really pushed the dashboard to be as thin and wide as possible. It stretches from the driver to the center of the car with a seamless graphic user interface. It displays all the functions of the Pro Pilot when in autonomous mode. This sedan is sleek and tailored. We really wanted the interior materials to inspire the driver. The seats are designed to be modern and lightweight. The floating design reveals and enhances the wood all across the floor. The center console functions like this spine of the interior, bridging both the front and rear together into a seamless experience. The high 
high contrast colors used with warm copper accents give the interior a sense of spaciousness and elegance. This concept has a striking expressive design and the technology to keep you connected. It's the ultimate companion to a lifestyle on the go. Please don't forget to